Hi everyone, welcome back to Liz's Reading Corner, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Liz, and I like books. Um, January kind of flew by. I, if I'm honest, don't know exactly what happened to January or where it has gone, but um, kind of blinked and it was gone. So that's why this video is going up in February. <laughs> Uh, this is just a video to quickly go over my goals for the year and uh, just things that I would like to accomplish. So this year I have four main goals um, that I would like to achieve. Uh, the first is to read 80 books. Um, my goal last year was to read 100 books and I just made that by like the skin of my teeth. I'm pretty sure I finished reading the last book, my 100th book at like 10 p.m. on the 31st of December so it was just a little bit too close and I just don't want to put that sort of pressure on myself again this year so I've chosen 80 books this year um, especially because uni has kind of changed uh, how we're doing things so instead of having four months off in the year I'll actually only have I think cumulative of like six weeks or something like that so I don't really have as much time to read um, and I just yeah I just don't want to have like the pressure of oh my god I must hit this goal and so we'll see how we go I may change it in the middle of the year I'll I'll be letting you guys know if I do change it but um about halfway through the year so about June July I'll probably reassess where I am and I'll just see where I'm going um but yeah hopefully it'll just be a less stressful year uh, my second goal is to read 40,000 pages, which seems like a lot, especially considering I just said that I don't want to stress myself out with my reading goals. But if you work out <laughs> the pages versus the books, um, so I typically read books that are like 500 pages or more, um, and 40,000 pages works out to be 80 books. So even if I did, and so even if I did read like novellas, which I've just finished reading a novella, um, even if I did read a novella, it's still going to work out in the wash anyway, because I actually have a couple of really big books that I want to get through this year. So um, yeah, hopefully that will also be a thing. I didn't actually know that reading pages, like pages read, sorry, is like a, a goal that people set. So this is my first year doing a pages goal so we'll see how that goes i don't know if it'll be a thing that i carry on like into the future or if it's just a this year thing but we'll see um and if i'm completely honest i won't be upset if i don't hit my reading goals this year like it's not i must read 80 books or i must read 40,000 pages it's more for me it's more of a guide so last year i really stressed myself out um because I was like, oh my god, I must, I must read 100 pages, this is my goal, this is what I have to do, and I actually kind of spent more time just reading books than enjoying the books. And so this year is more about enjoying the books that I read and just enjoying the stories instead of hitting a numerical goal for books or pages or whatever it is that I'm doing. Uh, my third goal, my third goal is more specifically for me than anything else. Um, I want to write a book, not to be published, not to be published. I don't, I don't think that I'm there with my skills. I want to write a book just to get back into the habit of writing. So I used to write a lot when I was a child um, or when I was a teenager and I used to love making up stories and just using my imagination. I would come up with stories for everything. Um, and then as I got into high school and we used to have, like, we had to write for school and uh, we had to write stories for assignments and that sort of thing, um, my teachers would always say that my writing was good, but the story was not great. And so I lost a lot of my confidence when it came to my storytelling. And the same, it was the same feedback from my friends, like my friends didn't like my stories. Um, but I have come to realize that it's not specifically that my stories were bad which i'm sure they were because like i was a teenager i don't know 
anyone really that would be a great I'm sure there's great writers out there as deans but I was not one of them so um I'm not saying like my stories were amazing but what I've come to realize is that it's not necessarily that my stories were not great it's that the people that I was showing my stories to were not the audience that I was writing for so I predominantly at that time and still um read horror and thriller and psychological thriller and mystery and those sorts of books and everyone that I gave my stories to did not read that sort of thing so um all of that to say I'm going to write a book this year it's probably not going to be fun, uh, published I don't plan on having it published it's just because I would like to get back into the habit of writing stories and so um while it would be awesome to one day maybe be a published author I don't expect it from this book in the slightest um and genre wise it would probably be what I like to read so like horror thriller psychological thriller I love fantasy I love the idea of writing writing an entire fantasy series um I just don't think I could do world building any sort of justice and I really focus on world building when it comes to fantasy books so yeah anyway all of that to say I'd like to get back into the habit of writing and so my third goal is to, <laughs> to write a book this year so my final goal is something that I've actually been really really struggling with especially over the last like six weeks or so I when I first started YouTube or booktube and um, Instagram or bookstagram I was trying really hard to mimic other people and do what other people do um, especially because they were seeing a lot of growth and I was not um, and I kind of lost my creativity I kind of lost myself and I just wasn't enjoying um, just like posting things posting videos like I really wanted to do like vlogmas or bookmas or whatever you call it <laughs> or whatever you choose to call it and I just I couldn't because I felt like I was getting nowhere and I just wasn't enjoying what I was doing and so my fourth goal or my final goal for this year is to just be more consistent with like my social media posts and my my YouTube posts but also to be more myself and more not that I haven't been authentic before now but everything I've done is kind of just me trying to copy other people and I just feel like my personality and what I like and the things that I like to do and see and especially relating to books and that sort of thing has not really come through and so hopefully that will change this year so I'd like to just be more me and be more consistent so for YouTube that will mean a weekly video um, at the very least and I would also like to post I know them as a quiet review I've seen a couple of youtubers do them um, of books that I have read that I've really enjoyed or haven't enjoyed or just books that I've read in general um, so there would be shorts that I'd probably post to YouTube and maybe cross post to Instagram and I'd also like to do a daily Instagram post and a daily story so that is something I'm going to start doing um, this week. It's been a real roller coaster ride trying to get back into uh, being at university and having my husband go back to work because he had six weeks holiday and our son going back to school. And so hopefully now that we've kind of settled back in, everything will just go back to normal. But yes, so if I don't, if I don't do what I say I'm going to do, feel free to call me out. I absolutely need to be more accountable for what I want to do. <laughs> and so when it comes to videos as well, I should probably put in here my goals. So aside from the number of pages and number of books I would like to read this year, I also have a couple of what I've been calling really lofty goals. Um, and this is probably the best place to mention them, especially because it's to do with videos and video ideas. Um, so this year I want to try and finish as many of the book series that I've already started as possible. Uh, I think it worked out to be like 56 series and I'll go through those in a video 
um, and like tick them off as I do them. Um, I also decided in my infinite wisdom that I would like to try and read through the Goodreads uh, top 100 most difficult books to read and I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret that but I will finish that. That is something that I am determined to do so those are two vlogs that I will be doing. I'd also like to try and do some like reading challenges so like 24 hour reading challenge or only reading like a certain genre for a, um, for a week or um, like only reading from like a specific author for a week that sort of thing. So if you have any reading challenges that you can think of that you would like me to do uh, I absolutely would love to hear about them and to try them. Um, also I have not forgotten Dale about the Del Toro Quest uh, book video that I am doing or the Emily Rodder video I should say that I have started doing that you requested. I am in the middle of doing that. Um, it kind of turned into something different to what you asked for and I don't quite have the editing skills to do what it is that I have in my head that I want to do but hopefully that will be coming out soon. So I'll do a review but I also have um, kind of like a guide to the Del Toro Quest series that I would like to do and I, that's what I don't have the editing skills for just yet but bear with me that will be coming out. Um, so those are my four big goals for this year. Uh, if you have anything that you would like me to try, anything that you want me to cover, I absolutely would love to hear it. Um, I appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Um, if you like what I do here, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!